face with a ball yesterday on the end of a rope. What was that ball being <laughs> What was the hole? <laughs> there was a throw and there was a swing and there was a bonk. <laughs> It was the bear rope trying to get our stuff. I was okay. trying to trying to get my bag <laughs> over into the uh, on you know a limb because of bears. So we have a beautiful fire going this morning. The place where we stayed has this really cool camp shelter thing, and so we were able to put our put our tents there. Um, I hung all my stuff to dry, and that was the only thing I could do, um, because there's really like nothing else. Basically everything that I had was, you know, everything that was inside of the kayak with me got wet and not just kind of watery wet, but mucky mud wet. My jacket, my husband bought me this beautiful Sitka jacket, which is so warm and it got wet within hmm, 30 minutes of me having it on. So I still haven't been able to dry it out in spite of my best efforts of holding it over the fire. Um, and my waders are over there. I would highly recommend that if you're going to do this, that you get waders and a really nice belt because it made all the difference in the world. Um, trying to pull the kayak through that mucky water. Um, and you can't really see, but so on our next trip, I'm going to use Greg's iPro <laughs> GoPro, uh, because I did a terrible job collecting video on this leg of the trip. Um, it was a really hard paddle for me. I flipped my kayak two times and um, we're carrying a lot of equipment this time. So portages are really heavy and really hard. Um, we had a great time and um, I look forward to bringing more video next time.